So both of you cried? Um, a little bit. Really? What do you think our mistake was? Um, that we... Wow, guys. This is one thing I love about homesteading too, is just the variety. I mean, chickens, whoa. Chickens is chickens, but look at that. Those special feathers in there? Yep. That's crazy. Look at that. I see, I know some that look exactly like this. Who's that guy there? This is um, skunk. skunk. Darlin, what do you think? I think you guys got done some work pretty quickly here. Yeah, that's the uh, 15 I think we're gonna let go of. That's keeping maybe six or seven total still. <laughs> You'll have to take that up with the children. I was trying to have it be less. All right, well, they're going to have the final inspection round over here. So come help me choose. Bring over whatever supposedly a keeper. Let's figure it out. So right now the children are heading through and they're picking out some of the feathers. There's a lot of amazing colors and patterns. And... Uh, Wow, nice long ones. And you got all sorts of stuff in your bags? Yeah. Good. Pinky, this one doesn't look like a rooster. It's not a rooster. It's not a rooster. So we're gonna cull a hen? Don't they lay eggs? That one doesn't lay eggs anymore. She's a old hen. Oh, okay. So good time as well to make sure you're not wasting energy and feed on non-producing ones. This is a beautiful bird, but she don't lay, so she's gonna get out of here too. For this part, I like to go about 160 degrees of water for about 30 seconds. I mean, look at that. If I do that, that drumstick's almost plucked already. But we got this nice chicken plucker too. So I'll just turn it on and turn the water on. Obviously that's not perfect, but for when you're hand picking, that's a lot less to pick now. So I bring those over the table, and if you'll notice before I get there, you compare one of these to one of these. Boy, do those feathers make a difference. They really do. These guys seem so little, but it's meat and it's still bigger than a parakeet. If we were trapped in the city during an apocalyptic situation eating our parakeets, these would still be bigger. We got the first two in the cooler. They're not bad birds, and they are made of chicken, so excited about that. Here they taste just like chicken. So got a few to go, and actually guys, except for one little black phantom running around, these three here are the only roosters on our homestead right now. So we've got that olive egger in the back, Frank Red's hot, Frank's red hot, this uh, barred rock looking one, and that partial buff Orpington one. So, things got kind of hard and difficult. Were tears shed? Yes. Did we all cry? No, we didn't all cry. But we'll get to that in a minute. Bug, can you come here please? Stand next to your sister. What did you shoot at the chickens earlier? Well, working as a team, we can do a really good job, right? Yes. Do even you get jobs to do? Yeah. You come out and help too? Yeah. Not in that shirt, you're not gonna. No. Here's a chicken. That's a chicken. Is that one alive? No. Oh, you took it right out of the egg before it came out alive? No. Did you throw the baby chick over by them? The yeah. fake one? Yeah. Did one eat it? Yeah. No. Look. Yeah. They're cleaning them. And the fake chicken These is the in there. Hold on. Look at that bugger. We have to be careful what we let the chickens have access to. Pinky, why don't you pull that out and let's see. Look at that, guys. They have these little slingshot fake chickens. I think I might have to cut it open. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it open and get it out, I think. Well, go cut it quick and bring it back. Bug, you can't throw toys to the chickens. They'll gobble them up. This is proof. I heard you say about shooting that fake chicken at the chicken earlier. It ate it. It was in its gizzard. 
What do you have to say for yourself? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, buddy. There it is, look. Aww. Let's see, bug. Did you know chickens were cannibalistic? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Apparently. It, it has a passion fruit seed in here. Look at that, good ID, passion fruit seed. I tossed put the old passion fruits in there and look at that grit too. Wow, child. <laughs> so you cleared you cleared that much space in here? I I think so. That's amazing. What'd you do with everything that was there? I just reorganized it and ordered it all up top. Wow, you guys gotta see my freezer right now. We are doing great here because that's a lot of space. Oh yeah, darling, you're right. Those are bluegills or something. Wow, we're gonna have a fish fry. I've got some bags of carp and sucker. Um, I pulled out one. Yeah, I pulled out one. I'm just gonna keep pickling until I'm, until I'm gone. I gotta do a separate video on that. You know what that shows? It shows how naive I was. I recognized there was value there, but I didn't know how to do anything. You know what I mean? I didn't know how to get the, get the value out. Now I know. It's a whole different game changer. But mama said, you know what? We can eat through these chickens pretty good. We don't need to can it all up. I'm hoping to can some of something, but we're gonna... Hmm. I'm trying to think what all we got. Yeah, we'll see. But we can freeze a bag a bunch and eat through them in the near future too. I mean, that's... What do we got? 18 or less, right? Um, I'm not really sure. I think we shared a couple with some friends already. And then, uh, you know, even if we got 18, we can eat two or three at a meal. So, we had 15 that turned to, no, there was more than 15. There was 15 to start with, and then I killed like two or three more plus a hen. Uh -huh. We got it down to three though, so. That's great. We're gonna freeze her some. Are they still tied in the cooler? Yes. Okay, we'll take care of that. We got the gizzards, and we got some cheap brought in. The livers and the hearts. And the livers in the sink. Awesome. And some cold water. Awesome, hey, job well done. So when we started this idea about culling these roosters, you guys were pretty upbeat and pretty positive, right? Yes. But what happened as we got down to it, especially as we tried to whittle all of our roosters down just to like four. three or four, what happened then? It was getting quite hard. Because it was... Why? Why would it be hard? Because there were... We... Uh, Originally, because my dad said that we were like gonna keep at least like five roosters, but we weren't really like counting the band of roosters. We were just counting the big ones. So, Pinky Pepper, she said that we were gonna keep like five of the big roosters, and then she picked them out. But what didn't she pick? My rooster. The one that you had. So how did that make you feel? Sad. Sad. How did you cry? A little bit. A little bit? <laughs> and in the end, did we keep the one that you got? One of them. Yeah. One of them. And do you think we, in the end, do you think that we made good decisions with the roosters that we kept? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if we could only have three big roosters, you think those were pretty yeah, good? Yeah, we kept one of each kind. Because we have an olive agar, a bard rock, and a... Buff. 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 Orpington. And we have three buff hens. Cool. And uh, yeah, like I said, sometimes if you have all just the same kind, then it's easy to tell who the best one is and who your runner up is. But what do some people recommend not doing so that it's easier to cull your flocks or herds? Uh, not naming them. Not naming them. And if you do name them, what do they recommend? Like butcher names? <laughs> butcher names. Oh, you know, oh, nice. call them Mr. Roast or, you know, McNugget or. Filet mignon, hamburger, <laughs> something like that. Call them food names, uh, if that's what they are. Uh, what about you? Was it, did you think it was gonna go better than it did? Did you think it was yeah. gonna be easier than it was? But what happened near the end? Mm, it got sad. It got sad? And even like, I don't even really want bantams, do I? 
But Pinky kind of has a couple little ones that she kind of likes and has a fondness for it. I'm like, okay, fine, but you can only keep one bantam rooster. And what bantam rooster would we have wanted? The one that was more pretty. Yeah, and what was its name? Rice. Rice. It was a beautiful, beautiful chicken rooster. So Pinky has a couple bantam hens and bantam roosters that are smaller. We're only going to keep one of them, which of course is a hard decision. This one's Olive Egger. And it's absolutely beautiful, but she likes the full black little one better that's still running around. So I guess we're going to keep that one and let this one go. And that's when things get hard, making these tough decisions. We also have two that are partial buffs. Um, one of them, Red Pepper got his payment for taking care of some stuff from somebody. And she got a number of them for payment, and it's the only one left. And the other one is the son of one we used to have called Jumpin' Jehoshaphat. So. But she said she wanted to keep the black one, right? And to yeah. get rid of the pretty one that was also, was it Olive Egg or yeah. no? Yeah. Uh, so how did you feel then? Sad. Did you cry? Yeah. Uh, are you over it now? Do you feel better? Yeah. She does feel better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you do it again though? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you gonna be happy to eat them chickens? What's for dinner, darling? Tres chickens dinner. Tres pollo? Mm-hmm. Claro que si. Mm hmm Darling. Woo! The vegetable is in that one there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Darling. They're over, they jump in. All right. Is it time for being happy and not sad about the dead chickens? Yes. All right. It's time for rejoicing. How about you, child? You were shedding tears last time. Are you happy now? Yeah. Think you're going to taste good? They, yeah. they better. Oh yeah, they stop, stop. You do it. Honestly, this chicken is amazing. It's delicious. They're good size. Yeah. They're not incredible like, you know. No, but they're still good size. I mean, they may be bigger than the store chicken sometimes. <laughs> we had meat chickens the size of turkeys when we actually did meat birds, but this is delicious. I don't think it's stringy. I don't think it's weird. I don't think it's whatever. It's chicken. It's mm. Yeah. And do you think it's amazing just how much variety we can get in chickens too? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of different kinds. What are your favorite? like color scheme for a chicken. I like the ones that are kind of black, but then they have the white with the black stripes on them around their feathers. That kind I really like. We I didn't like, keep any of those. Um, poof ball. A poof ball? He was the one that's got, I mean, bug, bug. He had a, he had a like, white, black, and then little brown cheeks. Oh, did he have the cheeks? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one was cool too. And that one is a similar color scheme to the ones that I like, just uh, with the cheek. He was an olive egg or two? Who's that one? He doesn't have a name. Oh, wow. I really like the look of that face. I like that guy. Oh, I mean, his name's Fuzzball. Fuzzball. Look at his eye, too. That guy's intense. Yeah, it's times like this, I wish, you know, I wish I could keep them all just because of how cool they look. Oh, yeah. yeah, some of them too, you can tell kind of which roosters are nice to people, right? We've seen those that are not. Which roosters are nice to the hens, because some will like scratch and find something for them to eat first and then they'll jump on top of them. Other ones will just run around. <laughs> um, and then which ones, like some of them just don't really have an interest in the hens and we're like, well, we're going to need a good breeder if we're going to keep things going here. Because even if we can't get meat chicks one day, we could still print our own chickens. And some of those are pretty good size. And we could have tried to fatten them up too. We just let them live. They weren't lacking anything, but they certainly weren't super chubby. But you think a fat chubby rooster would be easier to catch? Because mm. it waddles around the yard. <laughs> <laughs> what did, what? What did you learn today? Let's see, bug. No. Don't what? What did you learn today? When did we call you over there and give you a talking to? Bug, can you come here please? Stand next to your sister. 
What did you shoot at the chickens earlier? Uh, when it was dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> but what did we tell you not to do and what did they find in the gizzard? We have to be careful what we let the chickens have access to. Pinky, why don't you pull that out and let's see. Look at that guys. They have these little slingshot fake chickens. My chick, that a uh, fake chicken? Yeah, and who, who gave that fake chicken to them? <laughs> and what did they do? They, one of them ate it? Yeah, is that chicken food? <laughs> is that chicken food? No. Don't do that, right? <laughs> and did you cry today? No. No. He just ran around playing. Helped when he could, right? Yeah. All right. And what about you? Did you cry today? Oh, he's shy, but he didn't cry. You guys did a really good job with these chickens. They look really, really nice. It almost looks like store quality chickens. Like they're just. Really nicely done. The skin's real nice and smooth. There's just a few feathers here and there. But overall, they look pretty nice. The kids did a really good job plucking these as well. And you did a good job with uh, heating them up, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's not, what is it called? Scalded? Yeah. I did scald one of them. So for sure. Really quite pretty. Raw chickens. And this one's a nice size one, too. I mean, you know, this is what we butchered a few years ago. Maybe more like this, maybe even a little bit smaller. Yeah. That was not seeming like it was worth our time, but this is, this is not so bad. I Looks mean, like the size you'd get for a rotisserie chicken yeah. at the uh, store. Yeah. Sometimes they might even look like this at the store with the rotisseries. Uh, and I'm yeah. like, that's not going to feed all. <laughs> Especially when they it's scribbled small. out one number of the timestamp and checked a different number after it. Like, <laughs> is that an honest mistake? You're trying to buy some shelf life here. Some heat lamp life. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Looks good, Pa. Good work, everybody. Well, son, heading into this thing, you thought it'd be kind of easy and, you know, just kind of whatever. We'll butcher the animals. Mm -hmm. We'll have some chicken, and that'll be that. But then we actually started doing it, and we started whittling down through them. Did you get sad? Yes, sir. You did get sad? Yes. Did you cry? No. No. But you did get sad. But the, but the tears were at my eyes. But really? Yes. It oh. was hard. But. Why did you get sad? Because some of the roosters had to die that we really liked. Yeah. We got it down to three roosters out of all of them, which meant almost 20 had to go. You know. But if these roosters do good, what's going to happen next year? We can have more different colors of roosters and we can change out those roosters. Yeah, and then we can get sad again that only a couple get to live and we gotta kill the rest. Do you think it's easier if you know the chickens you eat before dinner or if you don't know them? What's if you e don't know. If you don't know them, what do you think is better though? If you do know them. Yeah, I agree. Thanks for hanging in there and helping. Bag time. So what about you, child? How did it wind up being? You said it was going to be kind of easy and just kind of, eh, that's what happens. <laughs> well, I didn't know we were going to butcher all the ones that we butchered because I thought we chose a long time ago. Yeah? All the ones. Yeah, yeah so. I just couldn't have eight roosters through the winter when I'm trying to get down to one pen of chickens. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, did you end up crying? Um, not really, but a little bit. So that's a yeah, you did? <laughs> what could have made it easier other than not taking them out? You think there was any way to make it any easier than that? I don't think so. Maybe if you didn't like chickens at all? or I guess. <laughs> Would you do it again? Yes. Do you think you will do it again? I don't know if I'll cry next time, but I'll do You'll it butcher again. them? Yeah. I hear that. Hey. No, it was hard for me, too. It was hard for me, too. Oh, I think he is tired. So both of you cried? Um, really? 
What do you think our mistake was? Um, that we named the chickens. Do you think that has a role? This I don't think so. So what is the main purpose in naming them? Um, we named them just so we could tell them apart. And we didn't give them really fancy names or anything. No, it's mostly a differentiation. Um, not that we exactly have to know, but if somebody, if they all have names and somebody says, look, this rooster's got a, a hurt foot or this chicken, we got to keep an eye on her. Then they know kind of what's being talked about. And then they know which one's being talked about. Um, and it's just for a transfer of information. I think somebody's tired. Pinky went and ran to go put Chili Pepper to sleep because he's getting a little fussy. You know, no matter what, the beautiful bird is going to die anyway. So it's sad either way, but... Yeah, whether they have a name or not. Yeah. It's sad to end the life. Is it sad if they just die on their own and we don't get to eat them? Yes. Is that worse, you think? I think it might be. I think I mean, it is. Yeah. You know, I think it's worse for the animal because then the animal usually suffers or gets killed by an animal. You know, mm -hmm. if if we dispatch them on our own, it's pretty quick. They're, they get a moment, a brief moment of pain. As opposed to dying from sort of sickness or illness or injury or getting killed by wild predators. Now, how many do you think we lost this year to predators? Maybe i um... Chickens, maybe like three, I think. Really? Where a predator actually got them? Yeah. Huh. Or was it this year or last year? Oh, Pinky's, last year. <laughs> Pinky's off camera going zero, zero, zero. What? So I think in previous yeah, years, yeah. Yeah. that must have been last year. In previous years, we have lost some predators. This year, I couldn't think of any hawks, any owls, any raccoons, anything like that that we had going on. Um. And I don't think we lost many to illness or anything like that. Every once in a while you'll get one that just doesn't do too good. Um, sometimes you get some that are old too. And one of the ones that we called this time was because of what? Pinky. This one doesn't look like a rooster. It's not a rooster. It's not a rooster. So we're going to cull a hen? Don't they lay eggs? That one doesn't lay eggs anymore. She's an old hen. Uh, because she didn't lay anymore. She didn't lay anymore? She was old, she was at the end of her life. So she can serve a good purpose creating those eggs for us and then serve a good purpose, you know, with some chicken soup or fried chicken for us or, you know, whatever it may be. Um, is it, is it a mistake from a child's point of view to give any animal that's ever going to be eaten a name? I don't really think so. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Hey, Pinky, if he's quiet with that carrot, come jump next to me. So, what about you, Pinky? Do you think it's wrong to name an animal that's going to be used for food? Um, I don't think so. You don't think so? And you mentioned something about we didn't give them that good of names. Does that mean if you had a pet you were trying to keep forever, you'd think of a really good name for him? But if you got a other animal, you just kind of give it a name? I don't know. I mean, when we had our puppies, we kind of named... They got named whatever we call them. Yeah. And I guess that's like the same with the roosters. And from my point of view, you know, some of them, we, we've got some descendants of cool chickens. You know, Jumpin' Jehoshaphat was a great rooster. Um, we didn't mind having some of his offspring here. Um, we still do have one. We have a hen. So, you know, we still do have a lineage from that. And whether we name them or not, for me, it's not always easy. And for me, I think you're going to have sad children, whether you name them or not. Um, they might be sadder, oh buddy, if you name them. But I think it's kind of unavoidable. And it's okay, buddy. Mama's almost back. Yeah, you can. That little guy's missing his mama, who's going to be home very soon. Um, but I think it's unavoidable. I think either way it's sad. I think any, either way as a child it's going to be sad. As an adult who's also an animal lover. You know, I like animals. Um, I just caught an opossum. Well, I heard some commotion tonight. This is the biggest 
possum I ever caught. This one's a female, but I'm gonna kinda send her a little farther away. These guys will eat ticks and do all sorts of good stuff, but also they will prey on our poultry. And in winter, things get a little worse sometimes. So that's when they're more likely to um, kind of prey on some of our stuff. And it's actually got little fleas jumping off of it right now. Um, because I grabbed it, there's been a change in it. So it's stressed out at the second, which is why I'm going to make this video very short. And that's for relocating. That's not for just killing because I see it as a nuisance. You know, I like animals. I appreciate them. So to sit there and cut their heads off, not the best feeling. Um, even shooting deer. You know, a deer is kind of a nice, peaceful animal walking through the woods all of a sudden. Boom! There I go. But we're carnivores, well, omnivores. <laughs> And, uh, and we appreciate, you know, meat. Even the plants that we eat, we have to, we kill. You know, we, we really do. So, is it a mistake? Possibly. Is it wise? Probably not. Does it have a purpose? Yes, for differentiating, transferring information as you're talking about certain ones, absolutely. We talk about some of our rams that we're gonna eat, but we know which one is which because of the numbers we give them. And I think different names are easier to remember than different numbers. You know, they are more than a number to us. Um, perhaps in a factory farm setting, they could just be numbers, but they're more than a number to us here. So hopefully that's some stuff for you guys to think about. Do we make it through? Yes, sir. Yes, we Thanks for watching again. Papa out.